Hey guys, it's Bob Ferngren, and I'm back with another eight minute video. And these videos are really all about helping cut down your learning curve in network marketing. I've been in network marketing for 18 years, and uh, I did the school of hard knocks, meaning I wasn't an overnight success. I just never quit. And you, that, that's one of the probably the most important things you'll ever hear from me. Do something every day to move your business forward and don't quit. Sometimes you do more than something every day. Sometimes you have time to do more. But if you do at least one thing every day, you know, whether that's a reach out, whether that's a follow up, a third party tool, a third party introduction, um, signing someone up getting someone on your products or service, do something every day, minimally one thing, and don't quit. Again, you also have to have the mindset if you're going for something bigger that there's a number of days in a week or a month that you have to do more, you know, because it, first of all, it's consistency. And secondly, you know, it's a numbers game. And when I talk about the numbers game, I don't mean it's just pure numbers. Here's the way I look at the numbers game. As you play more numbers, meaning reaching out to more people, your skill set improves. And what that means is you've grown personally. And personal growth helps you attract better people. So you initially may be getting you know, maybe two, well, let's just say one yes to look at your business or your products or service out of 10, one out of 10. Well, what do you need to do to get your, to, you know, build a bigger team, get your check up? Well, in your case, you're going to have to talk to a whole lot more people, right? If you want to get three new people started, you probably have to talk to 30 new people. Um, but what you're going to find is if you keep the numbers up, you're growing personally. And when you're growing personally, you're able to attract better, higher quality prospects. And so now over time, you might move to two out of 10 or yeses to eventually three out of 10. And that is the sweet spot. That's the sweet spot right there. So don't get concerned about any of that. Just be concerned that you're in some level of activity every day. And like me, you'll be an overnight 18 year success. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna stay on track with uh, this series of calls is, or calls, videos is all about social media. What are some of the social media basics? Your profile picture. I have to be honest with you, I do a lot of reach outs. I look at profile pictures first and then I'll go look at someone's profile, whether that's LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, I think TikTok, everybody in America should get off that fast. Uh, I thought it was gonna be cool. I know someone else is gonna come up with a better version, an American version, if you will, not a Chinese version of TikTok. Um, so you, your profile picture, again, law of attraction, right? If you have a dog for a profile picture, law of attraction. If you have a baby for a profile picture, law of attraction. If you have an attractive, and possibly if you have professional shots, if you've ever done that, if not, welcome to 2020. This stupid thing in my hand it takes great pictures today but just something that looks perfect. I mean, if you're trying to do a business, have a great profile picture, right? You, you, and by the way, you're beautiful. You were made in the image of a creator, of the creator. So, you know, don't, don't, don't not put, have your profile picture. Well, what about my babies and my dogs? They have cover pages for that because that can tell more of your story. So the cover page is kind of an unveiling of your story, who you are. So yes, if you're into dogs, you can have a cover page, you know, that's the banner picture 
that's behind your profile in almost all social media platforms, you can have a picture of the Westminster Dog Show or a bunch of snickerdoodle dogs or whatever those things are called, or you and your dog out on a walk, you know? You can do that. That's okay. If you're like wanting the world to know you're a family person, yes, and I see wonderful cover pages with that. Um, but it's telling your story. It's telling who you are. Remember, I talked about that in a previous video. You have a brand, whether you're managing it or not. You know, if you're just random and just throwing stuff up there, well, that's what you're gonna get is random results in life because of the law of attraction. So your profile and your cover page are critical. Attraction, attraction, attraction. And then it's all about positivity in your posting. I mean, you may have some negative things going on, but you can also flip that into a positive thing. Remember, successful people, we all, everyone, every, everyone goes through all the bad stuff. You know, all the bad stuff happens to all of us or can happen to us or can happen to our loved ones, right? So it, we're, we're not skipping out on that. Jesus promised we were going to have trials and tribulations here. But it's how we react in our circumstances, right? That make us more powerful and more attractive. So it's not what happens to you. It's really how you react to it. So you may feel the need for a post to ask for prayer. You may feel the need to tell others of a tragedy um, but, man, I've seen some people, like, lose a parent. And for a year and a half, they're in great respect. I mean, again, I, I'm just trying to teach you business here. I'm not saying how you mourn grieve isn't up to you. But every single day, you know, I don't know. I mean, you got, you got to kind of really, again, attraction that to me will bend you more towards people being turned off. Um, there, again, there's nothing wrong with if something happened and you feel the need to you know, reach out and get your friends to support you. I just think you really need to know how you package those things up. But also, I also think in the right at the moment or the height of a negative thing, I probably wouldn't be posting anything. This is me. I'm telling you about me, right? Because you never know what's going to come out of you. Um, I've seen divorces take place. People like dissing each other. Well, I don't really see it much. I just hear about it because I don't keep negative friends, negative posters. So clean that up. You know, really think about what you're going to put out. But I'll leave you with one thing because these are only eight minute videos. You may think you need to have great content. I would say you need to think you have a great amount of content. Excuse me. A great amount of content first. Meaning, just start pumping out 5 to 10 posts daily. Get in the habit of posting a lot. Get in the habit of creating your own positive reality show. Now, we're going to talk more about that and a whole lot more. I get so much more on social media, but let's go.